Hello everyone. Welcome to lesson 6 of the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI series tutorial using the NRF 2401 wireless module for communication. The implementation principle of this lesson is that one RF2401 wireless module is responsible for sending messages, and another NRF2401 wireless module is responsible for receiving messages. This lesson's case implementation will be explained in four parts. The first part is the description of the wireless module. The second part is to use an NRF2401 wireless module to send messages the third part is to use an NRF2401 wireless module to receive messages. Part 4, Results Presentation Firstly, we will explain the first part of the content. So far, we can provide four types of wireless modules for everyone to use. ESP32H2 and ESP32C6 are mainly used for ZigBee communication and Wi-Fi communication. Meshtastic is mainly used for LoRa communication. NRF2401 is mainly used for RF communication. You can visit our official website to learn about the specific functions and parameters of each wireless module. In this lesson, we will tell you how to use our NRF2401 wireless module. Firstly, we need everyone to prepare two Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI of any size and two RF2401 wireless modules. One of the NRF2401 wireless modules is inserted into the double UM wireless module slot to perform the task of sending messages. Another RF2401 wireless module is inserted into the double UM wireless module slot to perform the task of receiving messages. Please note that before starting the experiment, please remember to switch the mode to 01 wireless mode when using 4.3 size, 5.0 size, and 7.0 size products. Now, I will use the 4.3 size Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI as a sender to execute the right command. Open the code we provided. There are two folders here. One is red and the other is right. According to the file name, the write folder contains the code for sending messages for each size, while the read folder contains the code for receiving messages for each size. Because I am currently using the 4.3 size Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI as a sender, open the write folder, use the corresponding size code, and open the Mino file using Arduino IDE. Due to the use of IIC controlled extension, I see chips for the 4.3 size, 5.0 size, and 7.0 size. In the backlight being controlled by this extension, I see chip. The writing here is different. The purpose of this code is to turn on the screen backlight and make the screen display. Due to the SPI communication used by the wireless module, it is necessary to write code in this way to initialize the pins of the wireless module. After waiting for the wireless module initialization to complete, set the relevant parameters of the NRF2401 wireless module. In the loop, call the radio write function interface to repeatedly send the content stored in text. The code responsible for the sending function is like this. Now set up the code running environment and upload the code. Please note that during the process of uploading programs to the product, do not insert the ARF2401 wireless module into the double UM slot. Because the BOOT pin of the Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI needs to remain low, but after inserting the ANRF2401 wireless module into the double UM slot, the IRQ pin of the ANRF2401 wireless module will default to pulling up the BOOT pin, resulting in upload failure so it is necessary to upload the code to the Crow Panel ESP32 Advance HMI before inserting the NRF2401 wireless module into the double UM slot for use. After waiting for the 4.3-inch code upload to be completed, press the RESAT button, open the serial port debugging window, and set the baud rate to 115,200. You can see the relevant information through the serial port, 
and then know that the 4.3 inch is starting to execute the task of sending messages. The 4.3 size Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI, which serves as the sending function, is ready. Next, the 7.0 size Crow Panel ESP32 Advanced HMI will be used to receive messages. Open the read folder. Select the corresponding size code to open, and also use Arduino IDA to open this INNO file. It can be seen that the code for receiving messages is actually very similar to the code for sending messages. However, in the code for receiving messages, we call the radio read function interface to receive data and display the received data on the screen. Set up the code running environment and upload the code. After waiting for the 7.0 size upload code to be completed, press the reset button, open the serial port debugging window, and set the baud rate to 115,200 to view relevant information through the serial port. After uploading the code for the 4.3 inch and 7.0 inch Crow Panel ESP32, Advanced HMI power them simultaneously and insert an ARF 2401 into the WM slot. If there is no response, you can press the reset button and observe the screen display again. You will find that one is responsible for sending messages and the other is receiving messages. That's all for now. If this class has been helpful to you, we hope you can give us feedback and encouragement. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode.